Hi everyone, it's Janice from The Reading Train. This story is called Alley Cat and the Friendship Friday by Alison Fody Bork, illustrated by Shiara Savati. Alley Cat bounced out of bed and raced down the stairs. You could tell it was Friday the best day of the week. Alley Cat was excited for her field trip to the health clinic today. What would you like for breakfast, Alley Cat? asked Mum. Chocolate pancakes with extra syrup and sprinkles. How about eggs and a banana instead? asked Mum. Alley Cat thought for a moment. Perfect! The health clinic will ask if we had a healthy breakfast this morning. What do you think you'll do at the health clinic today? asked Dad. We'll learn all about how doctors care for their patients, said Alley Cat. I'm patient, Bugsy said proudly. Not that kind of patient, Alley Cat laughed. Patients are people who go to the doctor when they are sick. Oh, said Bugsy. I hope I can sit with Spotty or Luna on the way to the health clinic. You'll have fun no matter who you sit with, Mom replied. You better hurry or you'll miss the bus. Alley Cat and Bugsy grabbed their backpacks and said goodbye to Mom and Dad. At school, the kittens sat on the carpet for calendar time, eagerly awaiting the field trip. When it was almost time to leave, Alley Cat's teacher, Mrs. Purry, walked to the front of the class. She had a special announcement. Attention class, said Mrs. Purry. As you know, we're going on a field trip today. The class cheered. But I have more exciting news, Mrs. Purry continued. We have a new student. The class was silent. Everyone meet Phoebe, Mrs. Purry said, as she led the new student in. Let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, friend, the class said. Luna raised her hand quickly. Can Phoebe sit with me on the bus? Sure, Mrs. Purry replied. Alley Cat couldn't believe it. Luna, she whispered, I was hoping to sit with you on the bus. I'm sorry, Alley Cat. Maybe we can sit with each other next time. That's okay, Alley Cat thought. Maybe I can sit with Spotty instead. As the kittens loaded onto the bus, Alley Cat noticed Spotty was sitting with Roo. Oh no, Alley Cat thought. Everyone already has a buddy. I'll have to sit alone. Alley Cat climbed into the bus sadly, watching as Luna and Phoebe discussed Phoebe's multicolored paws and face. They even exchanged friendship bracelets. As the kittens headed to the health clinic, Alley Cat felt left out and didn't know what to do. Why didn't I offer to sit with Phoebe on the bus? Now I don't have a bracelet. The bus arrived at the health clinic and the class went inside to meet Dr. Katz, the physician taking them on the tour. Can anyone tell us what happens here at the clinic? asked Dr. Katz. You help those who feel bad to feel better, suggested Luna. Yes, great answer, said Dr. Katz. Since you all are at school today, you must be feeling well. Not so much, thought Alley Cat. Now, we may all look different on the outside, but we are the same on the inside. Let's talk about our hearts. There are three layers of the heart, outer, middle, and inner, said Dr. Katz. Just then, Alley Cat realized how to solve her friendship problem. I'll make a bracelet with three parts. That way, Luna, Phoebe, and I can all be friends, Alley Cat thought. 
the class headed to an exam room to see all of the supplies doctors use. What is this? Spotty asked. Do you make popsicles here? No, those are tongue depressors, said Dr. Katz. We use those to hold down the patient's tongue to check for sore throats. Oh, said Spotty. Alley Cat, you can use some of these to make popcorn popsicles. Alley Cat in the class giggled. She was feeling better already. Since you all have been good patients today, you get stickers to take home, said Dr. Katz. Alley Cat, can you hand out the stickers to the class, asked Mrs. Purry. Alley Cat nodded and took the stickers from the doctor. She gave one sticker to each kitten, keeping the paper clips. The kittens thanked the doctor for their tour and headed back to the bus. This is perfect, she thought. Alley Cat pulled out the paper clips she collected and wrapped them with different stickers. Then she connected them together to form a bracelet. I know just what to do to solve my friendship problem. Back in class, Alley Cat joined Luna and Phoebe on their way to recess. Do you want to see something cool? asked Alley Cat. Sure, said Luna and Phoebe. Alley Cat pulled out three paper clip bracelets with words on them. I'll keep this paper clip with the word R and we can all have a friendship bracelet. Great idea, said Phoebe. And we can add more words with more friends, said Luna. The girls put their paper clips together and read it aloud. Friends are best. This is perfect, said Luna. Yes, said Phoebe. Thank you for making my first day so wonderful. She pointed out the words on the clips. We are best friends. Yes, we are, said Alley Cat.